Today we're going to be talking about the CCP 1-8 scale collectible series Shin Ultraman Ultraman Standing Pose Figure. CCP, or Character Contents Production Company, has been making Ultraman merch for a while now. But this is my very first tangle with them, so I'm hoping this guy impresses. I mean, they already got me by making him a largest scaled vinyl figure, but what about everything else? Let's take a look. Alrighty, paint and detail wise, I regret to inform you all of this, but um, this is pretty basic. Yeah, kind of making me regret that I got the standing version, but out of the three given, this was my favorite. I do enjoy the Ultraman stand. But the battle pose and the specium pose are definitely a lot better for a figure like this. Now I know you all can't really see or experience this for yourselves unless you have one, but the weight of this figure is immensely different from that of, let's say, the Mega Movie Monster series Shin Ultraman, which is around the same size, a bit taller. And given the fact that this thing has a light-up gimmick, I was expecting some high-quality stuff going on here, but not quite like this. Another major change from the standard vinyl figure is that the Silver is definitely a little bit more on the high quality side, I'd say. It's shinier, it's more reflective-y, that's not a word. But I think you can definitely tell when comparing the Silvers to the Movie Monster series Shin Man. Really digging that. And honestly, I feel he looks redder than the Movie Monster series and Mega Movie Monster series stuff. But anyway, paint is fairly well done. I'm especially appreciating the muscle definition on the torso over here, specifically on the silver portion. I love that we can see the ultra pecs and the ultra ribs poking out over here. Same for the hip bones and crotchal area over here as well. And it's finally nice to have a Shin Ultraman figure that actually has some clear muscle definition in the arms. Yes, the Movie Monster series and Mega Movie Monster series figures had a little bit of that, but it's definitely a lot more apparent here. Not too much definition going on on the back though, but the silver and red paint does continue on. He's got some semblance of ultra cheekage, which makes me very appreciative. And I'm only noticing this now, but you can actually see his elbows over here poking out. Very, very nice. Yes, 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 on both sides. For the most part, this is the only area where I have somewhat of a complaint when it comes to the paint. I said somewhat. I'm not going to complain about this one little tiny thing. Yeah, the paint on this area over here could have been a little bit better. And as you see over here, it looks a little bit more on the completed side, but it kind of fails once we get to the point over here. Yet again, a very, very minor complaint. We've got those lovely little elf looking type B shoes, some proper definition on the legs and shins of Shin Ultraman. Not too much going on for the thighs. The hands are mostly the same of what we've seen in vinyl Shin Ultraman figures. Years. Nothing groundbreaking, I'd say, but definitely worth noting. My favorite area to really look at is mostly just the face because I feel it has the most going on. We have an amazing profile and front on shot of Shin Ultraman. This ear is properly blank, while this ear has the original light switch in it. The mouth is perfect. I especially have to praise the eyes as you can actually see that honeycomb texturing on them. Very, very cool. So as far as paint and detail go, I'm gonna give them two solid stars. As I said, I'm sure a few times in my last two videos, Minimal take on Ultraman, not too too much to talk about. So now let's talk about his accessories and his gimmick. Shin Ulti comes with a little stand, a very lovely looking box, and an instruction booklet. Now as far as the box goes, I actually wasn't expecting to get this guy in a box, as every picture I saw him in, he didn't have a friggin' box. But the presentation of this box is just as nice as the figure is. Plus, I'm a sucker for some embossed and flashy. Plus, I'm a sucker for holographic, foily looking things on the fronts of boxes. And this one's got it all over the front, even on the little Subaraya sticker. But anyway, here is the front. Here is the side, giving you different views of the figure and his gimmick. Here is the back of the box, which seems to be advertising CCP's 1 6 scale Tokusatsu series featuring Shin Ultraman, Naranga, and Gabora. And down here, we're being shown even more. I really really wasn't aware that Naranga and Gabora were made in this line as well. Either that or I saw their prices on HLJ and just said no. <laughs> but yeah, here are the two other Shin Ultraman figures in this line. Battle Pose, Specium Pose. And we can actually see a comparison between their 1-6 scale and their 1-8 scale. Yeah, these are definitely 
way more expensive, which is probably why I passed on them. And either way, that's looking pretty, pretty sweet. And we've got more stuff over here, probably talking about character contents, production, and their history with Ultraman. That's about it for the friggin' box! And now we're going to take a look at the instructions, which are basically going to tell you how to activate the gimmick. Now, I just want to let y'all know. As pictured here, you are going to need two LR41 batteries. I'm making a big deal out of this because HLJ actually listed that you would only need one, but you will need two, as you saw, and they're actually really friggin' cheap. I got a pack of however many are here for like five bucks on Amazon and got it the very next day, just in time for this review. So yeah, you're gonna rip his friggin' face off, you're gonna take his brains out, you're gonna put a ham sandwich in there, and then you're gonna press a button and the LED light's gonna light up and his eyes are gonna go Fwang! Nice and simple, nothing on the back. Now, you'd expect something called the Standing Pose Shin Ultraman figure. Now, since this figure is called the Shin Ultraman Ultraman Standing Pose figure, you expect him to stand, right? Well, he absolutely do Oh, okay, so he stands. All right, my bad. He is a bit at a slant, though. Okay, yeah, he has some trouble standing. That is why they included this little thing which instantly reminded me of the little stand that we got with the movie monster series Specium Ray Shin Ultraman figure. See what I'm saying? Just a blob of clear see-through vinyl. Anyway, this is just as easy to apply. You just attach it to Shin Ultraman's shin ankle area, and then you just set him down, and he still kind of has a bit of a hard time standing. I don't know if you guys get- yeah, you can definitely see it now. Yeah, one foot is somewhat on the ground, the other foot is not. And no matter what way I really finagle that, it really doesn't help. But once you get it in the right spot, you will see that he will stand straight up. As far as sub ratings go, I will definitely give that box a solid star. I'll give the instructions a solid star. The stand, I mean, it helps him stand, but I feel like it could have been a little bit more on the helpful side, so a sub rating of a half a star for the stand. But now we gotta talk about the gimmick. All right, so there really isn't a specific way to do this. Just be gentle, lightly rip Shin Ultraman's face off like so, and then take the little chip out. <laughs> So what's going to happen here is you're going to turn this thing on its side. You're going to take your LR41 watch batteries and put them in like so. Flat on top, rounded on bottom, on top of one another. And whenever you want to turn this little LED light on, you just press this little square in and fuemo. Just look at that shine. And then what you're going to want to do is put it back in his friggin' head. And this is actually the one piece of advice I can give you for this. I always put the top half in first. That way it doesn't give me an issue when putting the face back on. And buemo, look at that glow. I know I have the lights on, so let's just turn the lights off, shall we? Just look at those eyes glow, man. They are very, very bright. And I imagine once it hits the nighttime, these things are going to look even brighter. You know, I really wasn't expecting much when it came to the light up feature. I thought maybe a dull yellow glow, that'll be it. But no, this glow is pretty strong. Now, unfortunately, when the lights are lit, you really can't see that honeycomb texture on his eyes too well. But for the most part, it's a light up eyes gimmick. It works. In fact, and I don't want to sound easily impressed here, I just think it's really, really cool that you can tell that the eyes are lit, even in well-lit areas. Like, it's really, really obvious. I also really do enjoy that there's not a bejumbling of wires here. It's just a little chip that you can take out, leave a gaping hole in his head, and then put back in, and you're done. Truly, I really do appreciate that it's just that little chip because I have had the worst anxiety with replacing batteries in certain things as of late. Because one day I was just changing the batteries in my giant NECA Godzilla 2014 figure and now it just doesn't fucking work. Thank you, NECA. So this gimmick is going to get two <laughs> solid stars. One for application, two for just, I mean, just... Look at this. It's like he's got the power of Christ in that head. And now it is time for articulation. And, um... Hmm. I don't exactly know if the arms are intended to move at all. They definitely look like they should, right? But upon trying to force them up, they go right back down, move right back into place, and they really don't feel like they should be moving. 
I'm really, really nervous to push these arms any further than they're going. And even when I do, they just go right back into place. And it's like, yeah, you can see the seams on his shoulder blades up there, but I don't know if that was just a point of application or if they really are just meant to move. So, uh, no stars for articulation because I'm too afraid to move and possibly break this. And hopefully when another collector gets their copy in of either of these, maybe they'll be able to let me know, hey, yeah, you shouldn't be moving those arms or, oh yeah, you can move those arms, totally. Moving on, size comparison time, small, medium, large, related, short, sweet, to the point, the 1 8 scale CCP standing pose shin man is quite lovely. The high quality feeling and presentation of the figure is very nice. I do so wish the articulation was a little bit more, um, obvious? I don't know whether if I should move those arms or not. $40 ain't exactly SHMA, but it ain't exactly nothing either. Maybe other collectors who get their copies in will be able to tell me for sure. And as I said before, I love this simple glowy eyes gimmick and the fact that it is so seamless. If this is the usual quality of CCP's releases, I guess I should be buying from them a bit more often, huh? Seriously though, who really would have thought that putting a little LED light in Shin Ultraman's head would have made him just standing there menacingly all the more interesting of a pose. I certainly didn't. It's just my favorite pose of the three offered. But anyway, that's about going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I do have to say this one thing before we leave. I want to say thank you and welcome to my new $1 patron, Eddie. Thank you so much for becoming a patron, my guy. I truly do appreciate it. And I'm so sorry that I forgot to give you a little shout out at the end of... What was it, Monday's video? I think it was Monday's video. I was just completely gapping everything on Monday, so I apologize. Thank you for becoming a patron. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all probably next week. I'm gonna take the weekend to work on a couple of videos, have something up for you lot on Wednesday and Friday, and hopefully that can pivot me back to a normal schedule for uploads on Mondays and Fridays, and maybe sometimes Wednesdays. We'll see. Shin Rob Jira, you the viewer. Thank you, patrons. Thank you for watching yet again. See you all next time. Peace.